What's up, everybody? We are back. Film nerds are back. Sorry for the hiatus. Had some scheduling conflicts. And, uh, yeah, we're excited for this one. How you guys doing tonight? Good, man. Well, Nick's taking a gulp of water there. Uh, yeah, I'm doing I'm doing well, man. It, uh, I'm not going to lie. Like, there, there are lots of things that I have the pleasure of doing fantasy football-wise throughout the week. Um, different podcasts, different things. And between like not having this last week and then pushing it one more day, I genuinely miss it. Like Mm -hmm. I was like, man, like I feel like I haven't gotten a chance to like, well, first of all, I enjoy hanging out with you guys regardless. But on top of that, like uh, I I miss like getting to talk about these players in this, this context, in this setting, because, you know, as much as we come in here and we're like the experts or whatever, like, I learn new stuff every time just by talking with Nick and with Jared. Like there are new things that they highlight that I didn't see. And like, that's all good for me to improve as an evaluator. And so like I, as much as like, this is a show that we put on, this is also like instrumental in my own development as an evaluator and me understanding uh, the ins and outs of some of these players. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I think that's important because we always have our own biases and, and, and lenses we see through and when you can see through someone else's lens and what they think and you know their knowledge I, you know everybody grows I, honestly you're what you're talking about that's what twitter should be mm-hmm. in general we all should be learning from each other but instead of you know trolling and all this kind of stuff i mean we, we all could have you, you imagine if everyone's like hey let's all talk about you know tylen wallace and then you're going to learn so many facts and you know, things about recruiting and you know, probably his personal life and his game and stats. I mean, maybe you know, we should start doing that, that, Nick. Like, well, hey. I mean, but I'm saying, but everyone doesn't make it educational. You know, when, right. I wish you, I wish you're going to, you're going to have a troll regardless of what you do. You're yeah. going to, yeah, yeah, it's true. Gotta yeah. love the trolls. So many of them in the YouTube comments. Yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> um, Screw you but, all. Uh, but one cool thing is I, I got to, um, I've met Ryan McDowell before and his wife about four or five years ago, but I met the whole family yesterday. They all came to Madison and where I'm at and we uh, went and got some food and I got to met, meet Grayson and we were in a park, you know, playing and cause he's got a 13 to 10 and then grace seven. So it was pretty cool yesterday. That's, That's cool. awesome, man. I mm-hmm. met Ryan last year in Canton. Good dude. Yeah. Good guy. Did, did Aaron come or no? Um, no. Okay. Is that his wife? Yeah. Uh, she might've been in town, but I don't think she came out. To where she, we yeah, she wasn't at least what we were talking around and she wasn't there yeah um but yeah so first off we switch softwares so uh streaming from a completely different software here tonight we were having a lot of lagging and freezing issues the last few streams and last stream it crashed in the middle of a of one with a player so that wasn't good but hey We've, we uh, persevered through the adversity, and we're back here. Hopefully, this one's running a lot smoother. Uh, the chat said the audio sounds crystal clear, which is good. And they also said Dyni- Dynasty Price is sounding sexy. Nick Whalen looking <laughs> swole. And j got that smolder. Thanks, guys. But uh, tonight, we got Tylen Wallace, wide receiver from Oklahoma State, and Tamorion Terry, wide receiver from Florida State, Two of the top, uh, probably second tier wide receivers mm-hmm. in next year's class. Um, Terry is obviously a burner. Wallace, great all around receiver from what I saw, and unfortunately he had that torn ACL injury that Bummer. probably kept him from coming out in the draft last year. Um, I would think that's why he went back to school because a lot of people thought he he was going to come out. Um, big producer, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. What do you, what do you guys think? Oh no, I'm very excited. I'm just looking in the comments, and somebody's wanting to know if we're going to watch a uh, Joyke Bell. Uh, <laughs> so you know, I know there's a lot of Joyke Bell fans out there. So I'm sure we got to, you know, maybe maybe Matt Asiata we can get in here. You know, some of those studs of the game. You know, um, honestly, honestly, a cool career though, Joyke Bell. I don't know where. Um, what was it Pittsburgh State? I think he came from uh, out of Nebraska. So it's a. Um, I don't know. You probably did a different no. report on him. Uh, hold on, not Pittsburgh State, Wayne State, I think out of Nebraska. Um, but yeah, a cool story. He probably but uh, no, I'm I'm excited. I think these are two good prospects. Um, you know, I, I after watching again, I'm more down on Terry. I'm a little bit higher, <sighs> but not as high on Tylen Wallace. 
Um, in one of my Debbie drafts this year, I had the choice of picking between them. I took Tylen Wallace. Um, so I'm invested in him. I like him, but it's going to be cool to see what you guys think and the rest of the clips too, because how we do this is we all take a couple of games. Um, and so, you know, it's going to be good to see what you guys got out of it as well. And uh, stream, check this out. I can write on the screen now. So, should be fun. <laughs> I Don't worry. I'm not letting Nick control the thing. God, we'd be here for three hours Boom. if we did it. It's not a coloring book. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, so, that, that, should, that should add a nice little flavor to it. Uh, let's get into it, though. Sounds good. We got Tyler Wallace up first. Um, I think, Garrett, I think I'm starting with... Uh, yours here first uh i didn't have iowa state if that's who they're playing there okay well anyways uh he comes out here this is mine this is my <laughs> cut up i don't, I forget who i put first that's hilarious obviously <laughs> the other thing is yours oh wait nope it's mine just kidding <laughs> obviously we start off uh with a missed block here um this is something kind of that popped up on tape Every now and then with him, when I was watching him, kind of lackadaisical effort, not real physical. Just comes out and completely whiffs. And this guy helps, you know, seal the edge, keep contained, and force Chuba back inside. So you'd like to see him come out and drive their feet, get up in the guy's grill, drive him backwards. So. Can you go back to the beginning of that play? Yeah. I just want to see what the design is for Chuba. Because, I mean, he he's aiming inside half, and his feet get too close together. That's why he gets around him. He's at wider base. But I don't know where his aiming point is for Chuba. Yeah, no, that's a he probably should have been middle instead of jumping so far yeah, inside. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to make an alley here. But... Jaywack, I, I noticed that as well. There were quite a few times where it was uh, either really poor technique or – you know, not much effort there. And he's not the biggest guy in the world either. So, um, you know, he doesn't have quite as much, of, <laughs> but as much of the same leverage Sorry. as other guys. I had to do it one around. time. You can, you can help yourself. I'm five. How, how did you guys see that? Huh? How did you guys see that? Oh, you're watching it on that screen. I need to share the other screen with you guys. Sharing the wrong screen with us? For, with you two. Yeah, not the stream. I was, uh, I was sharing the... Uh, I don't say we do usually have the full game film so we can see it better. Yeah, but, my bad. Yeah, there we go. Yep. That does help, actually. Little bubble screen here. Physical run after the catch. And, dude, that stiff arm down the sideline is crazy. Watch this. Boom. Gets low, runs those two dudes over that can't tackle. <laughs> Come just on! Throws him off him. Come on! So, like, you don't even have to make a tackle. Just get him enough to get him out of bounds. Yeah, yeah. That's that's disgraceful. Let's run it back here. It's big and, total and, defense, and for his size too. Yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, for not being great blocking, but doing this, and this right, isn't the first exactly. time. Exactly, he's done that. Yeah, he's a physical player. Um, not when he's not asked to block. That's that's what I noticed, which is weird. Is it an effort thing? You know. What I like yeah. at this angle, you can see. So he's on the sideline, then he leans in for the stiff arm to give himself a little bit more room in case he gets pushed out. Yeah. Yeah, he's only six foot, a buck eighty five, which, like I talk about every time, probably means he's five eleven, one, <laughs> you know, upper one seventies. Uh, so yeah, he's not a big dude, but uh, he he's a much more physical player with the ball in his hands uh, at the catch point uh, than you would think, uh, think a guy of his size. Yeah. I noticed that too. So good route here. Doesn't get the Ooh. ball, but completely sells this slogo. Um, he shows, shows the head back to the quarterback, which really helps sell it. Mm -hmm. Good route runner. No wasted steps, no wasted movement. Doesn't get the ball, of course, because safety's helping over top, but, opens it up for uh, the tight end up the seam. Right. Yeah, he's the reason that happened. Yeah. They know they got a guard number two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you I saw mean, that safety breaking right away. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I initially thought of Wallace, I thought 
you know, James Washington went over the top, all that kind of stuff. But the more you watch him, he's really a technician. He's such a great nuanced route runner. Yeah. I agree. Makes some fantastic contested catches. This one right here to get the foot in the back of the end zone, come down with this. What do you, what do you think his, uh, what do you think his 40 is? Cause I don't think he's like a true burner. I'd say four, four five, two. Yeah. That's right kind of what I was there. thinking. I agree. He well, he I, almost I mean, reminds me of a smaller and maybe slightly faster uh, Keenan Allen was kind of some of the stuff that I saw in his game. I like him to like Robert Woods. Okay. I can see that. I'm not sure I have a comp yet, but I don't hate but, those. But again, Robert Woods was number two in college, so there we go with the number comps again. There it is. Just a great catch. Mm-hmm. Those you over the shoulder the ones other are tough. Angle or no? No, I didn't. It, it wasn't worth putting on here because they didn't capture it. Oh, I got you. Okay. Because I mean, another to, bubble. To get the release, to get the release by him in the end zone, there he had to use his hands pretty well. Is my guess. Now, what I really like about this one here is look how far away from his body that catch is, mm-hmm. and so it's it's above his head and slightly behind him. Um, so for him to be able to not only make the catch, but then be able to get up field and make the play that he makes, that's it's pretty nice. Yeah, and you see three defenders here in the area. Um, so great job of them getting a hat on the hat. But I mean, he beats this guy the to the angle. edge. So so, so bad. Yeah. The angle. Uh, Kylo Strawberry says he was going to say a smaller Nikhil Harry. That is not even close to a comp I would have. <laughs> Harry's good at contested it's not catches. Even close, dude. Physical. Well, I mean, I just, I don't see it. I'm sorry, oh, man. Because be I mean, very nice, Harry's Nick. Big and thick. Well, it's me. <laughs> it's, <honest. laughs> um, it's just me, man. Good, well, it's me. And, but uh, uh, Harry's not a good route runner either. Good job of understanding his angles, though. As soon as he caught the ball, he turned into a ball carrier. Yeah. Beat he the angle. Well, I like that. Yeah. Well, this would be a good angle. Yep. Got wide. Man, look at that vision, too, to cut back inside. Mm hmm. He's good. I like him, man. He's got a lot of good yak plays. Mm-hmm. Efficient mover. And I watched a little bit of him last year, just preparing for the the rookies and stuff, thinking he was probably going to come out. Um, so it was nice to kind of get a refresher on him this past week. Just another slogan. Mm-hmm. Obviously, he has this route down. Look at it. Look at the way he shows his eyes back to the quarterback here. He's selling it. Uh, that help, helps bring this defender down, makes him bite, and then he explodes back upfield. No wasted steps. Makes the contested catch. Gets kind of a late throw by the quarterback. Down. Yep. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Great body control. Focus. Almost gets two feet down, but gets that left foot down. Six points. Ah, now we're to me. Hello, Garrett. What up, Andy? Are we sure, are we sure this is his game? <laughs> are you sure, Jared? Are you sure? <laughs> All right, I'll let it run. Yep, we'll let it run one time. Woo. Oh, it's body control. Man. Yeah. All right. So that's exactly what I was looking to highlight here. Cause obviously, um, you know, this is this is scramble drill type play. He gets upfield, but another one that's thrown behind him uh, and and uh, uh, the throw that's slightly too high there and to be able to control the ball and bring it in there. And did you see his, him turn his body there too? Now, his momentum was kind of already shifting him that way, but to keep the, the ball away from the defender, um, there's just a lot of nuance to his game that's, that's really, really nice to see. Was this designed for him to run that inside? Or is that just him? I, I, I don't know. That's what I was wondering too, because let's see what the what are they running here? Because my guess it wasn't. He wouldn't go, he wouldn't release that close to the sideline and then break in, you know? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what the concept was. What the slot guy run? Just a flat. Just a I thought out. it was like a space play, like he's just getting you know, out of the way. Yeah. Space. Unless, unless that's one of those where he needs to do one of those deep hooks and find the hole in the zone, but Yeah, it could have been a curl flat. Probably not though. I mean, it wouldn't that was weird? Yeah. Quarterback get yelled at for that one, throwing it back across your body over the mm-hmm. middle. But hey, made a play. 
All right, we'll run this one back here, Garrett. Yep, we'll let it run first time through. <laughs> Kyla Strawberry said, damn, shout me out. I'm new to this film study stuff. Cut me some slack. Laugh my ass <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, all right. So this was a really long developing play here. Um, but once again, it was it was two, you know, two plays back to back. Uh, where here he's actually in, in double coverage. Uh, they clearly he, – he had a very good game against Texas. Clearly they were keying in on him. And for him to go up between two defenders and once again make the ball or make the catch away from his body, up in the air, it's, it's just not as easy as he makes it look. Uh, and that's one of the things I came away from was he, he's just a really, really smooth operator. Like he makes a lot of things that are not easy to do look relatively easy yeah the quarterback made it way harder than it needed to be here <laughs> watch this guy wow oh, geez. yeah he's wide open yeah wallace did his job he made <clears> the gonna put his hand up yeah me me <laughs> and then there's there's even an extra defender over there besides the two covering him wow um the one thing that i like if you want to play this back jaywack is is watch his head he works his way through all this traffic and does not turn to look for the ball until he clears that underneath defender. Watch right here. Then he looks, which is exactly when you need to look. That, that keeps all of your speed and momentum until the ball could arrive. He's great at tracking the ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does. He 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 spots it very well. And the adjustment that he has to make. I mean, yeah. you see at one point there, he's backpedaling a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that adjustment that he had to make on the football um, – Man, it's not easy to do, and that's that's what I kept coming back to over and over again. He makes plays that are not routine look relatively routine. Yeah, that's look at that. That is tough. Falling away backwards. Grab, damn, it's a nice play. All right, so we're gonna see two in a row. Yeah, where uh, uh, they're both blocking plays. Uh, this is this is genuinely a little bit of a concern for me for the next level. Uh, he, he's got to clean that up, and and fortunately, it's stuff that can be taught. Um, <laughs> but I mean, it's just it's not good effort, it's not good technique, and he, I mean, because of his his defender, those plays get blown up. I mean, what he's, is he's what waiting is he doing? instead of attacking? Oh yeah, he's just sitting flat footed. What's up on the block? How's it going, man? Gets beat inside once. If you guys got any once. questions, drop them. Let's go. Let's get into it a little bit here. We can and, talk and about whatever honest. the hell. Either way, I'll be honest. What? Be oh, honest. Yeah. Nick, oh, yeah, Nick will be. <laughs> oh, yeah, Nick will be honest. Never personal. I'm just, that's what I think. <laughs> Never get in a Twitter beef with Nick. <laughs> bring your facts. <laughs> you bring your facts because he will bring his. I always said that. I'm like, you better come correct when you're going to argue with Nick. Cause True. he usually wins. All right. So this one was a both for me. This was, this was a both play. Um, I don't love how much he gets shoved to the outside here. Uh, and once again, we, we talked about how he's not a, he's not a big imposing physical receiver. I'm not even confident. He didn't step out uh, at the top of his route there. I can think he like, stepped out. Go back to the beginning. Do you did, just go like step by step here? Cause I don't think he, I don't think he threatened inside which made him release further outside. Well, and he was already lined up pretty far outside. Right. So he needs get, to I mean, do a better job getting the hands off. I mean, he gets thrown. Look how far he gets thrown. Yeah, but that's because he doesn't even step inside. Yeah. That's a so release. all of that I mean, he's was, out of here. was a, yeah, he was, he was out of bounds a couple times. I think he stepped out again at the top of his route here. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, he stepped out by quite a bit. But despite all of that garbage, uh, he's still able to come back to the ball and make a play uh, after all of that. And so uh, it, it's kind of a both, but it was more of a negative for me on that one. Uh, just to, I, I want to see him be a little bit more physical there. And, uh, you know, he for the most part, this was kind of out of pocket for him. For the most part, I like his feet off the line, but that was that wasn't a very good one. All right, we got a question here from Kylo. What value does CD Lamb return in year two? Is he borderline wide receiver one by then? 
on his team or for fantasy? Fantasy, I would assume. Wide receiver one. Okay. Top twelve. Um, I would I'm fine with borderline. I don't think he's going to be a wide receiver one until Cooper's gone. It's it's yeah. really tough to sustain two, especially when you have another guy like Gallup there that's gonna steal some target. So it's not like it was when it was just Thielen and Diggs. There's also a third player there. So just by the raw targets, I think it'll be tough. But I'm fine with borderline. You know, I could see in year two him being wide receiver 15, wide receiver 16. Like that wouldn't shock me. Will I project it? I don't know, but it wouldn't shock me. Yeah, he's got that. That's where I'm at. Sorry, Joe. Yeah, he's probably wide receiver 15 to 20, I would say, based on age. But the production won't be there. Interesting, by the way, uh, if you take the second half numbers of the Cowboys, uh, you took that as if, you know, per game basis over 16 games, uh, Gallup outproduced Cooper. So this was one of his, his many big plays on the season. Uh, but I wanted to toss this one in here cause, uh, it was a, it was an underthrown pass. Um, and he lined up in the slot here, which he lined up in most of my games. He lined up almost primarily outside, Same. uh, but he, he beat his guy, but it was a way underthrown ball, but for him to still be able to go up and get it, turn around and make a play now, Terrible job by the safeties, or uh, yeah, that was just it was just terrible job all around. Um, but for him to be able to come out back and make that play on a play where there was pass interference um, is, I was very encouraged. I will say overall, I moved Tylen Wallace up some with mm-hmm. with digging in more. Now mm-hmm. he's still not quite where Terry is, and we'll get oh to that. Oh my goodness! Are you but uh, but I I did I did move him up. Um, over the course of this. He needs to get more physical, though. Mm-hmm. He does. Yep. Yeah. Um, I think this is Nick now. Let's see here. Before we get into Nick's cuts, um, Superflexer FF, a.k.a. Zach, asks, are we starting to see more undersized guys at wide receiver? Judy and Lamb this year. Wallace next year. You can include Rondell Moore in there. We don't know if Judy and Lamb will succeed, but do we think there's a trend towards smaller BMI guys starting to emerge at the NFL level? Yeah, I do think so. This has been trending for a while now. Uh, It is all about the separation game, and I think that's because of the rules. It's a lot more uh, defenders cannot make contact, and so because of that, if you can't separate, it's not going to matter as much because you know it was the big wide receiver game. I mean, you look, Years ago, it was Green and Julio and Jeffrey and Dez and all those guys were at the top. And now it's not the case. And it's all about how how you can move. And I I think offenses have switched that way too. You have RPOs. RPOs aren't based on posting up a guy and how big you can be. Brandon Marshall's another guy back in the day too. It's about getting the separation and you know making an easy read for your quarterback. So yeah, I think I think for sure. Now, is there a level of how small? You can be where I'm worried. I'm worried about Marquise Brown. Um, you know, I think you have to have some strength, but I don't think that just stopping a guy in the line of scrimmage. I mean, on the block here says that they're going to press Wallace out of the play at the next level. I don't. I don't think that's the case. I think Wallace has good enough to press break. I think that was a bad play. I've seen a few of those as well. But overall, I think he has the game to get off the press break. If you're smaller, BMI wise, and can't get off the line of scrimmage, I have an issue. If you can then you're okay. Well, and and I haven't seen nearly the same amount of press coverage as we used to see. Like I don't I don't think that's as common where where teams are for 16 games we're going to see a ton of press coverage. Um I, 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 at least that's what I've noticed. I don't know about you, but uh I I haven't seen as much press coverage as as we used to see. Yeah, I agree and the great games getting a lot more spread out as well spacing to get those guys that can move in space mm-hmm. so so this one this one is subtle for me if you want to go kind of step by step so if you want to stop it um at the start there from me mm-hmm. so this corner 12 is way far inside i mean this is probably i don't know quarter quarter half i would guess um and wallace knows he has to break inside here and so watch him stem inside and then get straight vertical and wait for 12 to flip his hips, and then he breaks inside. I mean, it's just so amazing. He doesn't break inside till that 
corner, his hips are flipped, and he look, he knows it too. He's like, dang it, I flipped my hips. It's just it's just good route running. Or well, sorry, he moved outside. Which is yeah. moved outside and then it's he like shimmied out. Yep, wide open then. And that's just and that's subtle things. You have to know where on the defender you have to attack to get that separation. It's a good catch too. Over yeah, good good hands catch. He's always catching with his hands. I like seeing that. Oh, mm-hmm. always, yep. But it's gonna sacrifice his body too. Like he's like, oh, I'll get some more yards and just mm-hmm. So this is another one where his aiming point, he knows he has to go inside. He forces the corner further outside before he comes in. And he's smooth on those slants. Mm-hmm. See, look at the corner here. Open his hips outside, yeah. boom, inside, win. Busted. That guy's, yep. It's perfect. If he had a little, now, quarterback leads him a little more. Now, again, I'm a... Um, I'm a Tyler Wallace fan, but I, I've kind of found some more negatives here than you guys have, have talked about. So I'll probably be some more of these other plays we'll get to. But again, this was behind him, adjusted well, held on to it. Press is 100% more about footwork and hand hand technique rather than BMI. I don't, I wouldn't say BMI really factors into that at all on the blocks. Have the strength. But BMI is just a measurement of you know, your body mass index. So it's just like a, I guess it doesn't really measure strength, you know, mm-hmm. per se. I bet Rondo Moore has great BMI though. Oh yeah. He's solid. Woo. So this is positive and negative. Negative. He pushes off. Oops. Sorry. I thought that was the other view. So he pushes off here and he gets flagged. But I do like that he tries to use his hands on the top of a route. It wasn't really needed here. But that quick deceleration back to the ball, catching feet and bounds, I thought was awesome. I'm surprised they called that. I mean, that was pretty yeah. subtle. Right. The, the guy went flying, though. I mean, in the NFL, they do that all day. So I don't know. Exactly. That's... Yeah. I mean, right there extends his arm a little bit further, but... For a smaller guy to try and use his hands, I I like it. Just yeah. don't get called. Speaking of uh of those those penalties, did you see the challenge of the pen, of uh of pass interference calls got got removed? Right, it needs. I'm, to. They're, I'm they're never so thankful. It. I didn't see that. Yeah, it got. It was this was a couple weeks ago, but okay. Yeah, they they got rid of that. It was a one year trial, and they're like, nah. Yeah, that was stupid. They're like, oh, we're just not overturning anything. They, Yeah, I was going to say they almost never did. And I feel like when they did, it was at random. It was yeah. like, wait, they overturned that one? I didn't like it because it kind of gave the ability to maybe fix a game, you know? It's pretty subjective. Yep. Well, they weren't yeah. objective about it. Like, it drove right. me nuts. Right. I didn't have that last play, and so I don't know why that was in there. But, yeah, this one here, I just like the okay. – um, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I like his deceleration here. Look at that. And he's so on balance when he makes this break. I thought it was phenomenal. I mean, he's so fundamentally sound. He is, is. fundamental. <laughs> Little NCAA football route here. Well, and, and this one I think is so this is this is knowledge here. So he's, he's getting bracketed, right? The, this underneath the defender is trying to push him. So he, he gets small, but he still knows he has to break outside. So he still goes back further inside before he goes outside, despite that defender messing up his route. Yeah, so it gets this guy to move, gets yeah. the safety to move. and mm-hmm. it's, just, it's just so subtle, but it's amazing. Again, he doesn't get the target. It doesn't matter to me. The route's what matters to me. Absolutely. Dang. Yeah, I have one of those with Terry where he didn't even get the ball, but I didn't care. Get your weight up, son. So this is a, this is another one where he didn't he didn't do anything inside and got pushed all the way to the sideline. So he needs to make it a two way go off of his release more consistently. So even though I said you know overall I was a fan. Um, are we concerned about one is strength 
Mm-hmm. And two, I think he's probably just an average athlete. Either one of those things concern you at all, or is it still, yeah, he should easily be top 10, maybe even top five type receiver in this class. As of here. right now, I think he's definitely top 10 as just as of right now at this very moment. Mm-hmm. Cause I probably couldn't name guys off the top of my head that I would put in front of him, um, around that, it, that area. But, uh I definitely, it definitely concerns me because I think it limits his upside for sure. What about you, Nick? Um, he's going to be, I mean, like I said, Robert Woods, Van Jefferson. I think he's a slot guy in the NFL, honestly. I think so as well, which I, I thought it was interesting there. that he ran primarily on the outside because mm. I, I agree. Pretty good route there, though. Yeah, yeah. So, so, the, yeah, so this finish. play, sorry, I didn't even talk about it, but he, he drops it here. I saw him drop a few passes, and this is a this is a concentration when he tries to make a move really quickly after this. Um, I don't know if you kept the other angle or not, Jared, but I didn't. Um, you know, so there were a couple of drops there, and then I saw a co- uh, quite a few contested receptions he did not come down with. He comes down with some amazing ones, but there's some he doesn't. But to answer that, I mean, he's not a player with a huge ceiling. That's that's not who we're looking at. I mean, he doesn't have the four four flat, the huge body, um, can win contested, can can do everything. But I think he's going to help an NFL team more than maybe fantasy. Um, but if he's a slot guy and gets in a good position, like Robert Woods late in his career, he's going to help you. If he gets in the position where he's Robert Woods early in his career, Buffalo, it's going to be trouble. You know, so it's really going to depend. So, and we'll get into it more, but the exact type of reasoning you just laid out is the reason that I would take Terry at this point over Tylen Wallace, because I'm looking specifically for fantasy purposes. I think Tylen Wallace is years ahead of him as far as technical proficiency at the position, but there's a lot of ceiling things that Tamari and Terry has. We'll get to that in a second though. Right. Wait till you see all my negatives. Anyway, so there <laughs> he pushes off, gets away with it, gets the separation late, <laughs> which is the strength stuff, right? That we're worried about, but he gets the technique and he adjusted the ball. So I thought it was a pretty good play. <laughs> Nick, you're funny, man. Wait till you hear all my negatives. <laughs> oh, I I almost didn't want to put any negatives on Terry because I figured all of Nick's were. So I'm not a yeah, hater. That's pretty I, actually, I actually liked Terry before I watched this film more. He's definitely got some things to work on, but we'll get into that. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you meant to put this one. I think you said that he was uh, settling into the, the zone yeah. here. I think yeah, it's cover so this two. Is a, this is what I like. So right here, it's it's cover two, soft cover two, and he realizes it and just stops. Yeah. He doesn't get a target, but it's just great that a a wide receiver knows this. Like you need to know defenses and he does. Yeah. Corner gets a good sink. Mm -hmm. That's probably why they should have hit him. I don't know why he didn't hit him here. Right on the sideline. Yeah. I mean, he he got his back turned. He probably just should have hit him. He could hit him. Well, he continues to roll out here. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me, but yeah. Young quarterback. Is he a freshman? Bro, bro, bro. I'm not sure. Spencer Sanders. Uh, I believe he was a true freshman last year. Yeah. Almost comes down with this one. Yep. So this is another one. So like I said, there there's some contested receptions he does not come down with. I thought this one was this is a bad ball, I think, by the quarterback. Um because it's too far inside. Yeah, really tough catch too. I mean he's mm-hmm. trying so, to pin it against his helmet. Yep. Yeah. So he comes out with some, doesn't come out with other ones. That was the one thing. That that in the hands were the two things that were negatives for me. Well, I, and inconsistent releases. See, I'm critical even the guys I like, Garrett. See? I believe that. Yeah, I think he's a day two, day two pick, third round, probably, wide receiver. Maybe well, second. If Van, if Van can go too, I think Wallace can go too. This he's definitely hard. got the production behind it. Mm-hmm. This is an unbelievable catch. Yeah, that is. That's a tough right. catch. Falling down. Right off the turf. Needed the first down. Got it. The back view is real nice on this one. Look yeah, at that. Look at that. That's. Wait, and, and he kind of settles, and then the quarterback throws him open. Then he has to burst again, I think. 